Okay, this is video number two. Number two on how to uh, build this Plays V8 model engine. In the last video, I stopped putting my connecting rods and my pistons together and then installing them on this crankshaft. And if you look, I've got all the pistons dropped down. And how I did this, if you look right here, this cylinder right here is sitting forward. I'll do this like this. All right. I mean, you see better like that. This cylinder is sitting a little bit farther forward than this cylinder. Okay? And this cylinder, the back one, is a little farther back than that one. The reason that's important is because... It will not work right if this piston right here goes into this hole and vice versa. Once you get it in there, you'll see how it's working. So the first one, if you're holding it like this upside down, this is your number one right here, cylinder, and then that's going to be your next one behind it and so on. It keeps doing that. Once you get them all in there, you can take and turn it, make sure everything's going freely. And another thing I want to point out, just in case you're wondering, no, I do not have extra parts. If you lose or break them, then it is up to you to fabricate something. Uh, go to a hardware store, an auto parts store, and see if you can find something. Uh, I lost a piston pin and had to use a piece of brake line and a Dremel tool to make it work to get one of these pistons together. So uh, it either didn't come in the pack or I lost it. I probably lost it. Uh, be careful in taking this stuff apart because I tell you it is there's a lot of little pieces here and um, It gets rather difficult make sure you utilize your tray All right, so we were here Putting the pistons on it says do that times eight Now it says drop that in here. So I did Now you need to find this piece right here and We're going to secure that using screw B. So what we're going to do is There, head on backwards. I knew something wasn't fitting right. Okay, I think that's right. I'm trying to look at the picture, looking at the tabs here. I got two tabs here and here, and a whole bunch of little tabs right there. So yeah, that looks right. Okay. So there's a front to back to this. Look at your tabs right here and right here, and it'll tell you which way it goes on. All right, it says you want to use your B screws, and if you look back here, your B screws, you got 56 of those, and that's the bigger ones. I'll put those in each one of these corners. And this should hold your crankshaft in place. Alright, go through and put all four of these screws in. Then we install our base. Again, you're using four B screws. Take your base, line it up, put it on here, and we're going to install the base. Okay? After you install the base, the next thing you need to do is locate your cylinder heads, which look like this. Okay? Once you find your cylinder head, you need to find two pieces. There's a two plastic pieces that look like this. There's actually four of them, two for each cylinder head. Alright. The fatter one, 
the thicker one here in my left hand is going to go, let's see, I remember which, okay, I think it's on this one. Yeah. And yes, it does matter. Like the, the bigger one will not fit where the smaller one is, and the smaller one won't fit where the big one is. There. Okay. Well, you see if it goes in like this, the smaller one goes like that. And you just clip it down until it clicks. Turn it around. The bigger one goes in. And you're supposed to clip it down until it clicks in. And it's kind of tight. Just be careful. Try not to break it. Okay. Alright, the next thing you need to do is you need to find your, find your valves and valve springs. Now when you open your package, you're going to have, well let's see, you should have 2, 4, 6, 8, this is a 16 valve engine. You should have 16 of these and 16 of these little springs, okay? Now these things, they want to shoot off. They want to get lost. They would love nothing more than to go into some deep, dark crevice where you'll never find it again. So be extremely careful taking these valve springs out of the packages. If yours is like mine, they're all going to be like wound up real tight together. Okay? So what I would do is when you, when you unpack it, and you get one valve spring out, put it on your valve like so, and then just gently lay it down over here to the side. Do that with all your valve springs. If you have valve springs stuck together and you try pulling them apart, just like you're just going to pull them like this, you're going to mess it up. And it's going to look something like this. Oh, you can you see it or not? See how it's messed up? So you have to gently finagle it, work with it, to try to get all your valve springs out. Once you get all your valve springs out and they're installed onto your valves, you may install them in the cylinder head right here, okay? So if it, the finished product is going to look like this. So you're going to take the valve, push it down through here, and then you're going to put your little valve cap on the end, okay? Now in a real engine, this is not how, it's, how valves are held on. Valves are a solid piece. They feed in from the cylinder head up here to, up to the top, and then you have keepers to put them on. But this way works too for this, this purpose. So, you can go ahead and install your valves into your cylinder head. And that's where I want you to stop. And once you get both those heads done, and this base and the, uh, mounted onto the block, you may stop what you're doing, and that will be as far as I want you to go for this video. Alright guys, just like always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching.